All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I gotta switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be in cyber security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Okay. Hmm. Jesus, I don't even know if we could get in there. I'd like to help, fam, but Nigel's caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. Hey. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? That's the point. Nigel Cass is pitching some sort of big project that's sure to make life difficult for everyone. And we've got to know what it is so we can learn how to stop it. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Interesting. Let's have their information. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. So now we have to cause you up to some Albion bastard. Is that it? They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking? Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. You look about as sick of this shit as I am. Are you with Dead Tech? Because I could use your assistance. We might be able to help. What's the situation? My friend has a rare medical condition. Unfortunately, with the NHS in disarray, they haven't been able to get treatment in months. We were out of options until this time Kelly doctor said they'd help for a price. I didn't know what else to do, so I paid them. I'm listening. That bastard. The drugs worked, but it turned out they were addictive. The second my friend was hooked, the doctor inflated the price. That's fucking typical, isn't it? All right, we'll get your friend his medicine. You sit tight. Well, this quote-unquote doctor is a real winner. He was struck off the medical register for gross malpractice last year, and now he's a freelance mob surgeon. Nice work if you can get it. Grant, can you track him down? I am quite literally always tracking everyone down. Pushing you with coordinates now. Oh, 
Kelly, doctor you're looking for is close by. And he's got highs of your laptop with him too. That should contain the whereabouts of the drug shipment. The demands of being a DedSec operative are all consuming. So taking app gigs is a good way to make some extra quid that works around your new schedule. Lots of people will pay well to have their sensitive packages handled with care. And some will even pay you for deliveries. Ha ha. There's the laptop. Scraped. Get to safety while I analyze the data. Go. 
I found them at warehouse when experimental drugs are being stored. I'm sure Mary Kelly won't mind if you nick a few. I'm detecting a vehicle nearby with at least two years' worth of treatments inside. That's more than enough to wean our contact's friend off the treatment. Grand! There's the vehicle with the drugs in it. Try not to destroy it. Now what? I found a safe location where our friend can pick it up. Send it you the coordinates now. Tear that thing for you. The drugs are somewhere safe. Bagley will send the coordinates shortly. All the best to your sick friend. Anyway, I owe you a favour now. You know, dead sex looking for fighters. And you seem to have some fight in you. How about letting it out? Fine. I'm in. We 
have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. Excellent. Our little posse's growing. Welcome to DedSec. Yes, well, I'm ready to help however I can. Fantastic. What do I do? Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. It's nice to finally have my work appreciated. Welcome. Right. Resuming my normal duties. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. Drone, come with me. Initiating following mode. the area obviously who in their right Caution, now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You're quite knowledgeable about Cass, aren't you? Yeah. I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <laughs> he was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Oh, for fuck's sake.